Hey guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back. I apologise about my voice. I've still got a cold, but Happy Mail is coming in, so Happy Mail is getting opened. So this is a recent order. It's it came really quick, to be fair. Um, I don't want to butcher the name of the shop, but I know it's design designing, but I, I don't know if that's Livedy, Livedy, Livedy. That's the name of the shop anyway, so um, definitely go and check out the shop because by the looks of this, this looks amazing and I think they were really reasonably priced as well from what I can remember. So I've got a little freebie here, sweater weather, some little icons, icons autumn time and then this freebie die cut which is gorgeous. I have a journaling card and so it became sweater weather we all like we all like getting our jumpers on don't we and I think I bought the full kit for both so this kit is called I don't know what it's called because it's not got it written on there two seconds I'll find out for you um, yeah, so this one is called Sweater Weather Autumn and we've got some gorgeous full boxes there. I just love that it's not like in your face, um, in your face like oranges and things like that. This is the bottom wash here, we've got some checklists, got some icons and your Monday through Sunday. We've got two Monday through Sundays and we've got your boxes there. Today's and to do's, one, two, three, four, five, five guys, the seven days in a week. <laughs> um, I don't know why it gets me, but it really does. One, two, three, four, eight checklists, that's fine. Some appointments, some work, some paydays, some little things, two habit trackers, that's good. Lots of functional boxes. Um, I've got this week, no next week, some dividers. And then I do love these icons that come um, at the bottom and I do love the fact that you get date dots on there as well so that was sweat weather autumn and this one is called dead inside I'd already pulled a kit that I, that I was going to use for this week in my strategy but then I saw this and I'm like whoa this looks amazing and um, the paper is actually a really nice thick quality paper um, 369 here's your nine full boxes I mean Look at that one there. Love it. And I'm guessing it's going to be the same theme. I do love that bottom washi though. It's gorgeous. I do love the deco. I love the colours of this. They really complement each other. Even in the florals, in the checklists. Some more functional. But oh, you get two little more bits of washi there that you can use it's one of them papers where you never know whether there's another sheet or not and then again with the last sheet so yeah that is my little order from design designing live d live d I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your name. Um, yeah, so what I'll do, every time something comes in, I will just whack it on to this whole video because I can't wait to use my stuff. So I can't save all my whole stuff and wait. I have to just get it in there. So I'll see you in two seconds, guys. So I have some more happy mail to show you guys. So let's go in and see what we have. Ooh, how gorgeous is that? balloon papery makes me not want to open it can I keep the sticker <gasps> yes I can keep the sticker I can laminate this oh I'm going to laminate that so what did I order from little bloom papery Oh, how cute. So, first off, got this little tiny freebie. I love this bear. I wonder if that's like 
on her shop. This gorgeous Boo stickers. Look at that. And that's so cute. That's a deco sheet. And then I got some florals. So I got two of these florals because I like adding some florals into my daily planning. And then I got green florals and then I got some like grey yellow coloured ones. Got two of those. And then I got this strip of Monday through Sunday because that colour screams autumn. So that is my little order from Little Bloom Papery. And then I have this order, which I think is Wendy Prince Designs. And I ordered, looks like two kits and an add-on. It's got my address on this bit, so I'll just hide that. Oh, can't open the bag. So, I absolutely love Wendy Prince kits. This one is called Snuggle Season. And you've got the pumpkins. So you've got six, seven full boxes, some um, functional boxes, you've got your washi strip, more functionals, a Monday through Sunday, some trackers, some gorgeous headers, date band, date, date, co date, dates, date covers, checklists. And then this one is called Blush. Again, with the seven full boxes, that is just gorgeous. Love the washi. Dream love, dream love, dream love. Then same format. And then I got Fall Breeze, which is your full boxes. Again, same layout. That's right, I'm just looking because it says, oh, they've all got the add-on. So I don't know what the add-on is. I don't know what part of the kit, because it says it's a mini kit and add-on, and they were £7.80 each. But yeah, that is my little order from Wendy Prince. So I've received some more orders and I have taken them out of the packaging um, just to make it a bit quicker and not as noisy. But look at the packaging you get from Little Bloom Papery. I've just recently um, laminated one of these and um, kept it as a, I don't know where I put it. Do you just hate that when you do things? But although my desk is a mess. Yeah, so I take off that and then there's the sticker. Ooh, kitty goodies. Oh, it looks like I've got some freebies. I'm going to put that off to the side. Okay, so I've got a little bag of freebies. And I think this is also a freebie. That's really cute. Love the colours. Love the colours. And so we'll do my order first. Um, so I got three kits and they're little kits. They come in little, um, there's lots of pages, but um, it's still a full kit. I should have took them out of the plastic as well. like the perfect size bag for them it's really sticky right so this is called trick or treat and it is foiled in gold I don't know if you can see that so there is four boxes and there is four boxes so I'm definitely going to be using one on my plan with me which I'm going to film after this for next week because it's got the 31st on it so that would just make sense so you get your um, eight boxes there and then you get some functional boxes here which I like to use in my B6 
then you get some flags, some little icons, some checklists, some layering, a little payday script and then you get today's and to do's, today's and to do's, this week and next week and some more functional boxes. So that is a really cute kit and these kits are 750 foiled i think that's absolutely amazing so my next one i got is let it snow i didn't have any christmas kits but i think i've got one like from last year and it's from vanilla paper coast and it just missed christmas so i've got this one which i had in silver look at those boxes absolutely stunning and then there is your next one i love that double box love that and then it's, it'll be the same format again so you've got some functionals lots of foil on there your checklist layering icons flags today's and to do's so that one is let it snow and then the final kit i got is called merry and bright I just can't believe these kits are like 750 and they're foiled and it's the UK so oh, this one's just so look at the boxes this is silver foil look at that car how cute is that and then ooh, ooh, ooh. The paper's gorgeous, the paper's really nice. And then there's the other full boxes. And they've got a little speckle of foil on, on everything. So there's your full boxes. These are your little, look at that. And that. Little functional boxes. It seems to be the same like icons, you get like a coffee, a phone, a pin, an envelope, a pencil, a planner and a camera which is really cool because I use those every um, week. So that is that and they also do um, clear stickers, clear script stickers, little bloom papery so this is a freebie how cute is that that's really really cute and then you also get this foiled freebie and this is in the the rose gold and then i think this must be the shop's little like is it called a mud mu 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 i don't know what they're called how cute is that it's got it's got a little i can see the sun creeping in so i have to change the light so this isn't on did, no none of these are on clear paper sorry they're all on just normal paper so i liked this get shit done i had to sort the light out it was doing my head in so yeah get shit done i got this week next week today i love the two fonts to do if i had to pick i'm more of a like bold font and then film edit and upload i've got a couple of those and i got a but first coffee and menu plan so that is my little order from little oh no sorry we'll go through the the goodie bag I do like it when shops put these in because this is how you get to know other shops. So first off we've got this from the Grumpy Tortoise. I love, shh, I'm solving TV crimes. These are all like um, Halloween-y themed. Then there is this from Cat, Dif Cat Dickinson Graphics and it's a little book of spells sticker and then this is from plan inspire create some little pandas and some little spooky ghosts this is from rebel ink co um ipr for her if you use the code um my rebel ink code 
uh, is Becky15. You'll get yourself 15% off. Like, you should check out her shop. This is from Mon Mundane Sunday Club. This one is from Legally Planning. And then I've got this. Um, no, you can't borrow my pen. And it's also got some some washi on it. I do like that. I think I have to take the washi off to know where it's from though. This is Scribbles by Straight. Oh, by Scribbles by Starlight. I like the trick or treat. I love that and that. Thank you. And then we've got Planner Pals Art. I'm definitely going to have to put these in my reusable sticker book on a page of its own. And make sure I use them over the Halloween period. Because it's in, like, the week... Um, I'm filming this on the 23rd. And it's Halloween next week. So it's my daughter's birthday because she's born on the 30th. So she'll be seven. Oh, how cute is that? And then this one... Is the yellow Buju Bu Bujo on Etsy? I've got a kit from her, and then this looks like a vinyl from Mama Makery. Can I get into this? Myers Makery, sorry, and we get this gorgeous purple bow which I think is really, really cute. So that is everything that I got from Little Bloom Papery. Quite a lot there. Just put them off to the side. I love these little kits because they're small and they're thin, so they, you can fit them in your planner. And then if you're out and about, you can do, do some planning. So next up, I have an order from Stick It Pretty. And this is two kits. I think it's... The I've took out the mini kits. These are, and these are six pounds each, and these are not foiled. Oh, I can't get into it. So you get your eight full boxes. Love the colours. Um, you know me. I love pink and pastels. There is some functionals. Your days of the week and some washi. I'd have to bring in like quite a few bits to make this kit work. But that is Stick It Pretty and it is called Planner Addict. And then my next one is... I, I, I do love a bit of neutral black and white. And this is Neutral Office. I just love... Like, I wish I had all that washi. Like, I've got, like, pink and I've got animal print, but it doesn't look like that. And then you've got all different planners and some washi and a little bag. And then you get your your boxes and the days. I think I have got enough, actually, to use it. This is all I need to do a week in my B6 Stalogy. Because I bring in, like, today's and to-dos, like I showed you the scripts before so next up we have lily blossom designs you all know i love her shop if you use my code whoops 15 you get 15 percent off and this is um so every month we get given a pr code and it allocates us a certain amount of money to spend so we can show you guys so i just have to say that because um yeah because I didn't purchase it with my own money. So you get this gorgeous thank you for your purchase. And then you've seen these kits before because I buy them all the time. So I've got this animal print Hobonichi because I will be using one of my Hobonichis, well attempting to next year to lose weight. This is a two page kit. And I just think, I love the functionality of it. I love the boxes. You get flags. You get a little weekend banner. And I love animal print. You know I do. So I got a Hobonichi Weeks there. And I, I, I loved this one. Let me just... Yeah, so the next one... Oh, 
The next one I got is called Birdhouse and it's, um, look at that, it's so cute, look at the bottom washi, it'll just look, I love the colours, I love the muted colours, so that's Birdhouse and then finally um, I got Cute Panda, I fell in love with the washi guys, again she gets me with the washi every time. But yeah, those are three Hobonichi kits that I picked up from her. And then this kit, yay! I get this kit every time it's in stock. Like it goes out of stock and then it comes back in stock. And I get it and I use it and I'm like, I shouldn't have used it. But it's one of my favourite kits. My all-time favourites. My TV decided to start blasting away. So, yeah, sorry, we get three, six, nine boxes and then some functionals down here. You get your Monday through Sunday, another little cheeky box and some bottom washi. And then all of these are headers. You're getting some habit trackers, some scripts, uh, two Monday to Sundays, which I appreciate. Uh, these are little strips of washi and then you get some layering icons and then you get like a functional sheet with all your little functional boxes look at that so cute yeah so that is my order from lily blossom designs and now my final order is i've opened it just so you can't see my um address this is an impulse buy a massive impulse buy and Oh, I'm just like really nervous that I don't like it. So it's from Cult Pens. Let's take everything out of the box. And I haven't opened anything. So this, this is it. Can you guess what it is? Oh, the packaging's really nice. So I fell down. Oh, it's really tight. Here we go. The Pilot Capless Fountain Pen Hole. And I think this was, well, I can tell you how much it was. You got a free bottle of ink with it um, when you bought it. And the pen... Oh, it hasn't got the price on there but I know like I think it was about 185 pound guys and I don't know even know if I'm gonna like it so I got it in matte black oh oh so it's in a little plastic baggy and then, okay okay oh Okay, so that's the way up, and it's a clicky pen. And it feels like it's upside down. Now, I don't know, guys. Like, I don't know. It's a gorgeous pen. It's absolutely stunning. It's, yeah, it's heavier than a Lamy, uh, than a Twisby Eco, and definitely heavier than, so that's the lightest, the Lamy, and then the Twisby is the second, and this has got a bit more weight on it. It's smaller than I thought it was gonna be. If I compare it, to see that's strange because it feels smaller it feels smaller than those this is the pen that i use the most which i suppose yeah it is only a tiny tiny bit smaller but it's getting getting in the hang the I got it in fine and that nib is tiny let's do a comparison I always twist my lamy because of my right so 
look at the difference in the size of the nibs. Oh, it's really difficult because I like lamis, I do use my lamy and I use my um this one every day. I was like over the moon with this one, absolutely loved it. This is difficult because I'd need to ink it to know if I liked it. But I suppose I can just randomly just see if there's doesn't feel like it'd be scratchy I just don't know if it's worth 185 pound like I never spend that much on anything I think this one was around the 80 pound mark and I was like oh, can I justify that but I use it every day I just don't know if I'd pull for this and this bit doesn't bother me this um, clip here it doesn't bother me because that's like I have a right on a slant or I write like that and you know my my uh it's near my nails are nearly as long as the nib. Yes, yeah, so that is the pilot capless pen. I don't it like when I open this, this is the thing. When I opened this one I was like, oh my god, that is stunning. I can't wait to start using that. Now I've opened this. I don't know if it's because I got it in matte black. Maybe I should have got it in pink or something. But I saw it on Lindsay Scribble's channel. And yeah, I just fell in love. And then you also get a um, a free bottle. There's an offer on at the minute called Pens. Where you get a free bottle of ink. Which is a really big... And I got the Take Sumi. I think it's black. Like, I wanted black. So I think it's black. Right, how do I do this? Without damaging it. Does this come up? Yeah, that comes up. And over. The bottles are nice. The bottles are really nice. Because the only inks I've got at the minute... I use these in my Lamy. I use that in my Lamy and my um, Eco. And it's like, this is like the first ink I ever bought because I didn't have a clue. And I, I know the brand Parker. And then I think I got this one as a little tester. Fountain pen inks. And it's jet black. And now, I mean, look at the bottle. The bottle's stunning. The, bo the bottle's making me want to ink it up does it come with like anything else oh it's got a little pulley thing it's got a little pulley thing that obviously i can't pull because of my ridiculous oh it has so you're in here okay so you can use ink cartridge inks and this is the adapter for that so that comes in there but I think I'd just ink it up but it's always good to take it you get a little pilot card I don't, I don't know why it says tampon tampon means stamp in a different country that could be awkward it's just got name parts and I think just, yeah, general how to do the things in there. So you do get the option to change it up to, to be, can I get all this back in there? Like nicely. It's just these books, they're not going under. There we go. We'll put that back and that back. Put it back in there. Put that back on. And yeah, I don't know. I'm so torn, guys. I know I'm going to have to ink it up. 
I'm going to have to look at their returns policy and things to see if I'm allowed to ink it. Because it's really difficult to know if you're going to like a pen or not. I suppose I could just dip it in some ink and not fully ink it up. Um, but I still don't think that shows the true quality of a pen. But I'm not overwhelmed with it. What do you guys think? £185. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that is, um, that is the Pilus Capless, £185 clicky pen. I think I'm going to finish off this haul with a few bits that I got from different places, um, just to show you, because, um, I think they're relevant for planning so i found this journaling design pad from um this was in um the range and this one was 4.99 and then the pastel card was 2.99 but what i liked about this is so these first pages are actual like die cuts you can you can pull them out and they've got like tabs and to-do lists and groceries and it's a bit like happy plannery but that's not what i got it for because i'm loving like neutral sometimes there's a lot of black and white in this like there's that pattern and then you've got some and then there's loads there's some foil in there and then some grid i'm loving grid at the minute some black grid some bigger grid spots there's a lot of like neutral colors and there's a lot of bright colors and then i got this pastel pack which i like because it's not massively thick and then this is just literally what it says loads of different pastel covers i like to use these when i'm like changing up my front cover and then this as well i found in the range and it was reduced from 8.99 to 6.74 and i've always wanted to try one it's one of those little um stamp like old-fashioned burn the wax and stamp away and i've got one with a rose and i don't know what that is but with that so i just thought that was really cute for me to have a go at and these i know these are going to be popular these were i believe seven pound from amazon and you get a lot of neutrals so you're getting a plain like craft paper cover color you also get lines and squares in that craft paper cover and then in like a creamy color it is creamy but it is white you also get like some squares some plain ones and some lines and they were from amazon which i thought was a really good bargain so it's like one two three four five six so it's nearly a pound a thing which i don't think was too bad really and i think they're really cute so i'm going to end this haul here because i have got um quite a few more bits coming on the way but i don't know when they're going to get here so i'm going to end this haul here and then start a new one um as soon as some bit other more bits start to come in so i hope you enjoyed this video guys i hope you liked the stickers and things don't forget to look in the description box for my code so you can get money off the majority of the shops that i i um that i buy from so yeah i'll see you in the next one guys bye